The Redeemer has risen. Hey, what is up guys? Master here back to do another first person video and today I've got a really epic series of games for you all versus Panic. These games were the best games I've had in eight for ages. I can't remember the last time I had such an epic series of games. That is why I'm going to include most games that I played versus Panic. We played a series of Mock versus GDI and until then I didn't realize how fun and how amazing that matchup really is, especially when you utilize the Mock Enlightened, the Vertigo Bombers, the Stealth Tanks, and Panic as well, coming in with some really interesting tactics. It was an epic series, and I hope you all uh, watch it till the very end, because it's definitely worth it. There's some really good ones in there. Anyways, guys, enjoy the video. This is going to be Master Leave. Peace out. Old school game. Inspired by Unleashed. Who, guys, will always be a legend. Always a legend in my eyes. Anyway, I'm doing better already with the Mark of Kane than the other day. But that's normal because I now know what I'm doing more than the other day. Um... I'm going to try and take this EMP control spike with my Awakened here. We'll see if that will work. I'm versus GDI once again, so I know that that's how I'm making these decisions. And because I know that the spike bug is a thing, but this Emp Center, you shouldn't be able to shoot through the Emp spike. Like, I know the, the bug isn't that bad. Panic's going to lose his squad. Oh, he's actually kind of trying to hunt down the engineer here. I see. Well, he's going to find that I'm going to take that EMP. And, yeah, no one really takes EMP. Is this on the original dust bar? I think, no, this was definitely added in on the... Why did nobody take this, though? Just, okay, don't bug. Okay, this should not bug. Man, this this thing. Just just take it. Take it. There we go. <laughs> Man. I can't believe that wasn't more straightforward than it was. That is an APC. We'll get into this bunker here before I get uh, absolutely murdered. Down. APC could get 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 in there. There we go. The sometimes the units tend to bug a lot when garrisoning. Anyways. We have the EMP, which could come in handy, although he obviously knows there's an EMP spike. And by the way, guys, I really do like that. Last game, my mod actually gave me an advantage because I knew that I, he had that structure. It was more clear to me that he had it. And that's where the... That's how it should have been to begin with. The, the, the lines would clearly define there, and in Tiberium Wars, it had the, uh, the sh color location in that part. But the thing is, in Kane's Wrath, they changed the shaders, and as a result, the where the the part where the player goes, player color goes on the neutral structures was messed up. Not intentional by them, by the way. It was definitely a oversight. The foxholes in this um, mod as well, I like Tiberium Wars, again. Um, the one they made in Kane's Wrath bleeds because of the texture map. It isn't made for that. So it, to me it just seemed like the Tiberium Wars developers knew more about the game than the Kane's Wrath ones did. Because it wasn't the same developers, it was a company called Breakaway Games that um, developed this game in collaboration with Electronic Arts. So as you would probably imagine, they didn't have all of the assets for um, making the best optimal uh, gameplay. Anyway, I'm going for buggies here. You'll see the Double War Factory and probably go for Hammerheads, though this EMP control is going to make aircraft a really bad option, which... I mean, if there was ever a time to go for Enlightened with this massive threat of the EMP, 
you know, this is going to scare him going air in this game, which is going to be awesome for me. But I'm still going to make buggies because of these pit bulls. I want to have plentiful pit bulls out and about. I could go for some bikes just for, you know, just to beef this army up a lot more than it currently is. But... I'm just going to send this one back to base. Of course, buggies don't really have the, the DPS, do they? So get a glimpse of what's going on in his base. And I'm going to... Uh, if he goes aircraft, of course, as I said, I can just uh, destroy those guys with a... With a... Um, imp. I suspect he will tech up to tier 3. Nonetheless, we're going to go for those enlightened. Just keep spamming those ones out. Also, I get really cheap disruption towers too. So, some pitbulls over there, which I should be able to uh, disrupt. Being of disrupt, let's put some disruption towers down to definitely disrupt him. Okay. Oh, he's like, oh crap, this is an issue. Leaf is doing something fancy here. Uh huh. Do those get to kill there? I'm not entirely certain, but. Why are these not dying already? Alright. More EMPs coming down. That's going to be the end of those uh, pit bulls, as you see. Yeah, that's enough of that. Right. I know they're pretty damn good. Okay, what's going on now? A couple stuff here. A glimpse of what's going on in his base. I mean, he can't go hammer his again because of the EMP control. He's going probably snipers, I would think. Uh huh. All right. Okay. So I didn't realize I, I was actually behind. Panics kind of echoed out and ballooned in this game. Okay. Oh, actually, we could go ahead and take these guys out. I should have got the particle beams as well. Bit of a mistake from me. Ah, Jesus, those enlightened man doing some real work. Still got all these bikes you can still use to harass him with. It's got particle beams. Okay. I suppose I go in for a push now. Come on, EMP that tower. Come on, kill that harvester. Where's my aim to be? Is it going for an expand over to his base? Yeah, it is. Ah, oh. yeah, I definitely need to push in with what I got here because I'm pretty much all in. Uh, these are lightens I need to keep alive. And I can't 
can't really sustain two war factories either. He's probably going to go in that Tyrion field to, de to uh, defend himself. Actually, do, what do I do here? Do I go for a Commando Reckoner? Let's try that. Why can't this deploy? Okay, it deploys like an hour later. I'll take it though. Okay, Reckoner. Where is it? Here. In there. Also, he's going to go with Juggernauts now here. That's uh, going to be an, a problem. Mm. As expected. Alright. So all that infantry is getting torn up completely. If I kill this APC, he's going to have no more anti-infantry. Oh my god, I just lost it. Oh, Vertigo Bomb, it's not the other ones. Okay. Oh, no. Let's go for a bit of expansion. My MCV, for some reason today, just doesn't want to move. These are a bit wounded. They can go back to base. This must be frustrating. That goes down. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Let's get up here. Where's my MCV man? It's over here. We can get a support air tower. Try and one click those guys in the Tiberium field. I lost all my... Um, what are these doing? Oh, of course, these are on an attack move. Gotta be very careful with this too. Um, because these air towers have so much health. And when you lift up on them, they occasionally the vertigo bombers can stop for a while. Oh, I need this. I was going to one click him for a moment, but I've decided not to. Let's go back to base, try and get some damage on his harvesters. Okay, got a group of vertigos here. Do I have another group, man? Where are the other ones? I have no idea, but I am going to use these to kill his harvesters. We could kill his ref, one click the other one. Mm. Cross panic still has his tech. I'm just gonna one click. Getting this will be a, a big pickup. Oh. Well, hang on a minute. Let's just get this vertigo. If he jump jets, he can kill those air towers because they have no health. Yeah, these are very, very weak, so I'm looking at them at all times. 
Oh, okay, of course, the attack move, attack command with these can be a bit messy. Um, I need some anti to deal with these. Fucking uh, zone troopers, they're a real nuisance. I've got my expansion down though, and he's pretty stuffed versus those uh, tip troopers. Uh, these can do some repairs, avatars. They're a bit wounded. Alright, well. Uh, how many avatars do I have? I've got a couple here. We could move out for. Do a little bit of damage, perhaps. Not do you not do only do you see one combat support airfield? You get freaking two in one game, perhaps for the first time ever in Kane's Wrath history. Has such a feat occurred? Tip troopers here. I don't know if I can slow down his harvesters. Like single weirdest use case of that. I'm thinking of dropping his tech center with these uh, avatars and vertigos. Got a, a commando here, which can get be garrisoned in buildings. But we could go ahead and bomb this air tower. And get back. Ah, no. No, the zone troopers are going to take care of me. They do have the skull skins on them, though. At this point. It's probably a bit hopeless for, for him. If I kill those APCs, then he's going to have nothing. Uh, I can maybe make a... Engineer and recover that husk there. Let's get another reckon up to garrison this commando. Reclaim this husk too. I've got these vertigos, which I totally forgot about. I lost two of them before, which is a little bit unfortunate. You should just go in and try and kill those. Oh, well. I can save the avatars, actually. Let's just. Well, where's the... Did I not set a rally point over there? No, don't die, commando. You're not going to die. Okay, cool. Take this husk over. Man, I'm pretty sure I sent rally point for this to go to this Tyburn field, but it didn't. I mean, it would have been perfect if the freaking Reckoner got there. But for some reason, just, just wanted to stay at base. Anyway, that was a pretty fun game, man. In the middle of the map, <laughs> those Enlightened just massacred his whole army. And also, you saw when he went Pitbulls, I emped like 20 of them because StarCraft's not fun for me. I don't like how there's no right-click scrolling in that game. I don't like the UI. I think the sidebar is best for widescreen aspect ratios because there's just more screen in the horizontal, like screen real estate compared to the vertical. Putting this the UI like this is was good for 4x3 displays, but in widescreen displays... The sidebar is just a way better uh, UI, in my opinion, for RTS games. It's more minimal. Besides, I like how you don't have to constantly babysit your eco. There's, you're not playing versus yourself in this game. You're playing versus your opponent. And it's a more casual game. It's more fun. You, don't, you can chill. You don't have to play seriously. I mean, we're just having fun here. It's really a fun game. Command and Conquer has its charm. 
I personally like this game the most because of the gr combination of gameplay and graphics. I think the graphics are really good in this game. Especially with the 4K texture pack, which I will shamelessly self-advertise in this. 4K texture pack, which will be uh, revealed and released at most next month. Um, obviously, there's a lot more that I could have added in there, but... I've done all the structures, units, decals, etc, etc, etc. A lot of the world builder assets I didn't do. In fact, most of them. But... Hey, better than nothing, right? What? Oh, you're going for an APC. Okay, I see how it's going to be. See how it's going to be. Wow, Dutch. Is that, you, uh, is that the real Dutch? What, what? Is that you, Dutch? Man, it's been a long, long time. You need to get online and play some canes, right? Where, where have you been? Dirty Dutch in the house. I remember when we played a 2v2 tournament. It was good times. Back then, I looked like a really good 2v2 player when I was. It's just, he made me good. Because now everyone says that I'm awful at 2v2s. But with Dutch, man, we just owned everyone. Anyway, I haven't been focusing on this game because I'm playing versus Panic. And as Dutch knows, Panic is a pro. So I want to... Make sure that I focus here. Because... Panic is for sure a pro. It's an APC right there. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, pit boy is ready. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, about that. Uh, I'm going to garrison these buildings up. Stop this pit bull harass right in its tracks, because there's tons of buildings on this map. If I can garrison those ones up, that's going to be pretty amazing for me. Uh, yeah, for sure. This APC is a grand asset as well. He would want to keep that alive. Fuck! Retreat! Wow, the APC blew up. That's lucky. Okay. Nice kill. All right. Okay. Perfect. Let's see what you can find here. Rocket squads into action. He's going for APCs. He's going for everything. I'm going to keep these here. Go for more harvesters. Tech up. Because I just sold my tier 3. You know what, guys? I'm just going to do what I said before. And just, you know, garrison these buildings up. Because that's exactly what I wanted to do in the first place. We've got 9 harvesters. I need to invest more. What do you think he'll build now, though? Let's, uh, give a, let's take a quick guess. I'm going to imagine he'll take up the tier 3. So what we'll do is we'll go for a air tower. Get a bunch of enemies out. And then we'll go for a... Uh, tier 3 for avatars and get the particle beams upgrade. Yes, that. Let's get around here. Ah, fuck. Okay, we can kill those harvesters. Return the favor. All right, one harvester down. Oh fuck! Where are these rocket squads, man? They're really slow. More stuff going down, however. I wish I garrisoned those pitbulls a little sooner. APCs. Go for a couple of vertigos, avatars. Yeah, just get all that good stuff out. Get 
garrison anything here. I don't think we can garrison anything. Nah, that's... that's no go, I'm afraid. Okay. I'm going to have to maybe postpone this Vertigo production just for a little bit because I'm getting heavily sieged here. We can go, we can one click those in the Tiberium field. If he goes in that Tib field, maybe we could bait him into that. If we can bait him onto the Tiberium, then we can use the one click and take him out. Okay. Ah, fuck. Come on, we can one click him. One click. One click. Come on. One shot. Yes. We got the click. Okay, that's cool. We need to go for stealth tanks now, like ASAP, get a bunch of those tanks out. This is a clutch game. Still love that click, man. It's pretty clutch, this. But he's taking out my base here. That's awful news for me, obviously. All right, stealth tanks, man. I feel like stealth tanks is the way to go. What? All right, get in there. Get in there. These are freebies. Alright, let's go. Ambush them. Okay. Avatars. Disconnected from server. What? What's going on? I just disconnected from my stream. Let me see if I can reconnect to my stream. Alright, so I'm connecting again. I don't know what happened, but my stream went offline and I had to stop recording and I'm back again. I think Twitch servers died. So sorry about that, guys. The, the server just fucking crashed. No, I'm pretty sure it was not me. My game's still running, guys. It's, it's literally the Switch server. My, not, my con is perfect, as you all know. As you all know, my con is uh, nothing short of perfect in every way. It's a ton of pits. I don't know how I'm going to deal with those. Yes, of course I'm back, Panda. I'm very vigilant. Full power today. Crap. I can't deal with these pit bulls. If I can bait them into this uh, rocket garrison, that would be great. Fuck! No! Oh, I actually wasn't that bad. Could have been worse, actually. Okay. So what does he do now exactly? He can take out my husks. He's engaging three avatars. Good idea. Wow. Well, he's got his tech down. I am boned. Here. Right there. 
What was that? Pit bulls? No, you just use call for transport. That's an elite fucking pit bull there. I want to get that uh, captured immediately. Those husks. Damn it, that's experience that I needed. Oh! You're not taking any blue Tiberium, mate? No blue tip? Okay, I'll take it then. Okay. Ah, fuck. This is a hard game. Okay, what's going on now? There's a harvesters here. There's actually tons of harvesters, man. More enlightened, please. As well as the upgrade for them. Tip core, tip Tiberium. The upgrade. That one. Fuck! I'm happy. I still got tons of harvesters. Dutch would be proud. Dutch would be proud of my harvester killing there. Alright, let's see if we can kill those pits with the Enlightened, because naturally, as you would, you would kill pit bulls with Enlightened. Some radar scans coming down. We're going harvest hunting, guys, though. We're going to take out those harvesters. Cap this war factory. Ooh, it's a bit of an issue. Actually, we want to go for his harvesters most of all. I'm happy I killed the elite one. Because that would have been really bad if I didn't. Also, I need to retake this type room here. Is there any type room? I don't know. Oh, is there? Hunter! Hunter! Kill, kill, kill this! Kill it! Kill! That's, that's a really good thing to kill. Hits. Okay, I, I don't like how many. This is such a weird. At this point, I don't even know. But we're going to get a redeemer out. And what? Harvester lost. Our base is under attack. On hold. Cancelled. Mark, kill that harvester. Stealth tanks still live. Yeah, they do. But his harvesters are in pretty big jeopardy. I need to go for fucking venoms now because of all this hammerheads and shenanigans. It's getting an it's getting annoying at this point. He must be at tip soon. Have I got anything here to defend? Apparently not. Put the redeemer out though. Shame you can't put enlightened in that. Up here. I think he's literally out of income. This is the most amount of stank harass that I've ever done in a single game of Kane's Wrath. Panda keeps saying GG despite it not being over. What is going on there, Panda? Yes, kill! Kill them! Kill them all! Yeah, Panic's not giving up, but it's, it's game over now. I've got a Redeemer. I wasn't going out of it. Probably could put a, probably should have put some units garrisons in there earlier. So this game, I ended my stream midway. Not sure what happened, but... That's enough Venoms now. Let's transition into... I don't, know, I don't have any really good transitions. Do I, Hark? Um... 
Redeemer. Where's the Redeemer? Let's get that over here. Some Avatars too. He's, he's got some APCs and stuff. Actually, we could probably just... I'm going to go ahead and kill these um, bits. Venoms, man. How about that? And that's gonna be GG. Wow, what a game. Cannot control my units properly. Yeah, I have that all the time as well. Dude, how the hell did I win that game? That was an insane. Ah. I one clicked. His he just went in my tier field. I was he was on the edge. And I killed his whole army in that field. And more. Uh, what? And then the stealth tanks afterwards. I was behind in units. Man. Play Rift. We will play Rift after this game. I'll have to... Going mock though against GDR and Rift is a bit uh, dirty, I would say. It's... Uh, Shadow Team rushing on that map, as you remember, Dutch is pretty OP. It's There's no counter as GTI. This building also looks weird in in my mod. I am sorry. It's, it's, it apparently looks like this in Tyburn Wars. I'm not sure if this guy who gave me the textures did the a right job on this, but yeah. the logistics center looks kind of weird when my opponent garrisons it. I just realized he can go and um, sell his first power plant and send the rifle here. If he goes power plant sell first, I'm pretty sure you can kill your opponent's engineer. Awakened obviously the slowest scout in the game, but they're also the strongest and the most durable units. Hmm. Uh, he seems to have anticipated this. He saw it coming a mile away. So I'm just going to sneak around here. I might be able to dodge the... Uh, how Fox are. I'm taking some damage on the way through, but I'm going to get by. I lose one member, it seems like. I'm not sure if he was focus firing on that. Okay, he hasn't garrisoned the logistics center. Please garrison it so I can show the viewers how this looks. There we go. Apparently, this is how it looks in Tyburn Wars. Not sure if you guys have played Tyburn Wars, but there you go. Tyburn Wars, logistics center. Uh, okay, then we'll go for Scorpions because those are pits, and he's just continuing to spam them out. Uh, unusual. Also, I mock, so this is probably not going to do anything. Fuck. Oh, no. I just uh, Q-moved my harvesters. Mistakes were made. Okay, so what does he do now? I mean, he's he's got those scorpion, those uh, pipples. But besides that, I don't understand his plan. I'll make another buggy just so I see what is coming behind this because it's kind of weird how he just went for pits, nothing but pitbulls. Yeah. Couldn't tell you. Let's go for a quick tech up to tier 3. Ah! Wow. He dodges a bullet. Dodges a bullet. What do you think I have in mind now, guys, with the beam cannons? I'm making two of them. What possibly would I have in mind with that? We're going to do something pretty wacky. And I am 100% certain he will not expect it. Up. 
but uh, hopefully he goes for a dual value, because if he goes for that, that will be just peachy. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Those Pred tanks, man. Look at that GDI logo. 4K GDI logo. I replaced that one. Okay. Avatar ready. Is that one base? What's going on? Particle beams. Actually, no. I don't want to go for that, do I? Do I? Mm, here. Oh. Nice micro. Nice micro. Let's go for a air tower. Alright. I've got a surprise for you, Panic. Let's go for a Venom. Just so I can scout to see if he's going for like some Venoms behind this, because that's possible. I'll go ahead and see if that's the case, because it's possible. Ooh. Avatar. He must be distracted by this Venom. Wow, the Avatar takes him out. Got this Avatar here. Do I just go around the back and take him out with this Avatar? Yeah, let's go this way. Nah, I don't want to engage into that. Let's go take some of this. Um, I think a one-click plant wouldn't go miss either. Let's go ahead and do that. Maybe he'll stack them up and I can get both of them in one shot. What? Oh no, what the fuck? This is not shooting. Why did that not work? I have no idea. Take that out. Alright. Uh -huh. Okay, he's just going to marvest that Tiber and feel that's an issue for me. Yeah, quite an issue. Zone Trooper, I'll get a light in for that. Ooh. Oh, what? What's this doing? Unfortunate. All right. Can I take this out? Okay, uh. Jesus Christ, these mobs are so strong. He's got a fire hook out. Like, how many fucking things do I need? Oh, 
Oh my god, this this mob, I can't EMP it. How is it impossible to EMP? I should have gone for a enlightened. That was a bit of an error. Yeah, a bit of an error there. I understand my way, the errors of my ways. He seems to be aware of uh, these vertigos. I'm amazed that I let that happen. Those firehawks are out and about now. That's an issue. Hmm. Can I actually do anything here? It's got a Marv healed up. You could bomb my air tower if you wanted to. Okay. <sighs> okay. My god, man. These epic units are so hard to destroy. Like, what does it take to kill epics? So insane. Okay, uh, Spectres, I guess, and other barracks for some enlightened. Let's get some uh, repairs here while I can. Actually, we can probably kill this. No, nah, never mind, let's not do that. Get these vertigos repairing. All right, let's go. Come on, EMP. Oh, come on, destroy that. Holy shit. All right, get up there, Vertigos. Don't you do, don't you bother? Don't do that. Oh my god! I need a stealth tank to deal with that fucking hammerhead there. And if I have tip core, but this ref needs to get fence two because the firehawks can go ahead and bomb that. And I've only got one refinery. As well as a singular vertigo. Might be to bomb those on the deck, those firehawks. Let's go see if that's the case. Ooh. Nice. I can take over that husk too. Let's go do that. A singular vertigo. Doing something for me. Uh, what do I do now? Stealth tanks. Okay. Wow. This volley isn't very big. Okay. 
Sat Firehawk on the deck. I'm just gonna wait there, kill these Firehawks, and just chill, man. Alright, well. He's in some deep trouble now. Certainly it now. It's gonna be GG. I could go for a shadow team. Which one has the firehawk in it? That. <laughs> He's microing that pat on the power plant. The uh, stealth. The uh, pitbull. All right, that's it. Let's go in. Give me GG. Man, that was a really good game. Those dual beam avatars. I can't believe that actually uh, was that good. Killed the Marv. Uh, he shouldn't have moved so far in though. That was a bit of a mistake. But man, I fucking couldn't EMP it. There's so many times I just wanted to kill the Mar. I was lucky to only lose one Vertigo to his Firehawks as well. His rig, if it deployed, would have given given him stealth detection, and then he would be able to kill both of those Vertigos uh, before my Vertigos hit. It, it was so close. If he had deployed that a second sooner, Vertigos would have gone down before the bombs dropped, and I would have lost. Stealth tanks. If you guys remember his technique, he spammed. Just spam them. And he made it work. See, a lot of guys like myself say, oh, there's no new meta in Kane's Ra. Well, the thing is, there's just no new players. If, if we had more players, we'd have more ideas, more play styles, more skill. But we don't, so... People think that, oh, the meta game's so stale, oh, 1.2 plus, has no diverse tactics. I think it's because everyone gets tunnel vision after a while. You need to maybe stop playing for a while and then come back and then your mind is refreshed. Mark the King today, though, has been really, really fun. Especially versus GDI. Mark the King versus GD GDI, a very fun matchup. Neither one of them is uh, more powerful than the other. I would say maybe GDI have a slight edge. Construction complete. Construction People have been saying that since 2009. Yeah. 1.03. I think you could decisively say, though, that it is spam. But I'm going to try and not slate 1.03. I, I I like how CGF's made all the stuff that I enjoy using, like Vertigos and Stealth Tanks. No, not Stealth Tanks. Stealth Tanks he made worse versus vehicles. But the... The Vertigo Bombers. The time it takes for Vertigos to reload in this patch is just absolutely ridiculous. By the way, what do you guys think of these Fox Souls? Tip Wars Fox Souls. They're much cleaner. Significantly so, in my opinion. I just prefer them to the, the mess that it is in Kane's Wrath. What can I say? Just looks better. Alright. Got a combination of... Kane edition skins and normal skins in this at the moment because I haven't really done you I haven't finished on the vanilla skins yet because I'm removing orange bits orange stripes on the GDI juggernaut and that's a fucking it's easy but it takes a long time because you've got to use the clone stamp tool in Photoshop and all that stuff and remove that manually it takes a t it takes time you know, after doing 40 or so, it gets a bit uh, tiring, to say the least. But I've done mostly everything. I haven't done the damage. I'm going to move that from the damaged units, though. But, yeah, a bit of a annoying thing that EA put on their units. Because what happens is, with those stripes there on the texture, if you pick, for example, yellow, 
and your nod, your yellow is blending with the red stripes underneath. So that ends up being orange. So you end up picking yellow and getting orange. It's, that's how bad it is in Kane's Wrath. You pick purple, oh, sorry, you pick blue in this and you get, you get freaking purple. Unleash must be close to 50 now. Yeah, man. He'll have lots of grey hairs. Though Green Zero has been showing signs of ageing recently. If you go on his stream, you'll see plenty of greyness. He's, he's getting old, man. Green Zero, unfortunately, did not know how Eclipse dominated him yesterday. He could not uh, figure it out. He thinks that CGF has nerfed Hammerheads and they are flying garbage cans now. No one should build them. And CGF is stealthing patch changes without putting them in the notes. So you cannot make aircraft as GDI anymore because CGF destroyed Hammerheads. He's got, his nar he's got some narrative and that prevents him from ever improving. Like, it is one hell of a narrative. It's a conspiracy as well. I mean, I could have showed you guys what he said last night. I said, Green Zero, you just lost as GDI versus Scorps, and you're telling me that you don't know how to stop that as GDI. Mate, all you gotta do is make hammerheads and pit bulls. How hard is it? Hammerheads. But no, Hammerheads were nerfed, guys. They are now useless. See, Jeff, he's, he's made the locomotors like 5% worse. So they, they went from being superly ridiculously overpowered to now useless, if we were to believe Green Zero in his words. But yeah, that's exactly how it is now. Uh, we're getting hit from multiple sides, aren't we? This is a multi-pronged attack I am seeing here. Right. Wow, that's a lot of pits. It's a lot of pitbulls, yeah? Let's uh, not uh, get too far ahead of ourselves here, guys. Okay, actually. You know what we're going to do, guys? We're going to do something funny. What? Yeah, the two-pronged attack. I'm glad that I set the rally points. Alright. Let's go and see what's up. Fuck! Damn, these pits are just... They're out for the hunt. Particle beams, please. Let me get this aim severe as it deploys. Can you imagine that, guys? Fuck! Oh no! It's bad. Stealth tanks, because yeah, naturally. Stealth tanks is... Woohoo! Delicious. I feel like Senna now going for the uh, Q move. Look at that, guys. We got the MCV. Do you have aircraft, mate? I, if I kill this airfield, then he will not have anything versus a quick transition to Enlighten. Let's do it. Enlighten spam. Quickly, kill kill the airfield. Kill the airfield. He does not see the stealth scorpion tanks because stealth, stealth scorps is not something you see every day. Come on. He must have fenced this. Yeah, he must have fenced that. That explains it. Uh, venom craft ready for liftoff. Yeah. Those venoms are going to die. They're going to crash and burn. Fuck. Alright. 
mass and lighting because you got nothing now that he drops to take that's fine it's fine it's all fine as long as i get enlightened i'm okay you got any hammer firehawks you don't know i don't think so yeah what exactly do you have there besides a couple of harvesters. You got harvesters, yeah. That's what I know. All right. Those pitbulls need to be right here. Why have I not got any resources, man? This is. This is. Uh, I need two more squads. Come on, get. Come on, one more squad. No. Oh, he's in such a deep trouble at the moment. Oh, fuck! He's called in the sniper teams. The snipers, the support power, I did not consider. <laughs> no! I did not consider the, uh, the that transition. Ah! Those in freaking sniper teams have crushed my plans. Well, that's GG. I had two stacks, but not that I could do too much against this. I think my idea was fine if he didn't uh, have as much stuff. By the way, check out these skins. This cinematic view here. It's like one of Cybert's trailers. No, never mind. This this is more like his trailer. Look at those mammoth tanks. <laughs> All right, that's GG. I don't know if I said it, but that's GG. I have no idea how long I'm gonna be streaming for now after that collapse blackout as it were is there a community balance patch applied yes there is uh, 1.02 plus you can find it at cgfuploads.net in the um, about section of my stream you will find the appropriate links for getting the patch well, it's not really a patch it's a map pack there is map packs because originally people um when the when, when 1.02 plus first came out it wasn't adopted because people played 1.02 as well as 1.02 plus so cgf devised a solution he made the patch changes apply on maps and the maps are huge in size. It's a big download. It's like six gigabytes for all of the maps because he has to put all the textures in the maps when he compiles them. Anyways, the maps are basically the patch. It's as confusing as that sounds. I don't know how to explain that easier, but just look at it that way. These maps are special. They don't transfer in game and they contain patch changes and people can play 1.02 red zone games if they choose and they can also play 1.02 plus because of the maps so they don't have to have a different server for the different patches and changes that was the whole idea the drawback is the size of the download which is massive again it's a lot of downloads if you download command post you'll find that you'll be downloading a lot of things but there's a lot of maps and this has been the result of years of community development for feedback and tournaments, thousands of games and for some reason Panic's Harvester isn't even shooting here. I mean isn't even moving, it's, it's literally stuck there. I have no idea why. Run away because you are so dead versus that. APC. 
Let's get some rear damage. Oh, yeah, get, get some of that rear damage. We're going to have to stand and fight here, guys. We're going to have to stand and fight. Oh, my God. That is beautiful. Come on. Just DPS it down. We DPS the APC down. That's pretty nuts, guys. That is pretty damn nuts. Those awakened. Still getting some damage dealt there. I'm going to go to War Factory considering how uh, much he's um, committing into this. As you can see, he's uh, doing some pretty sick damage. No, I can't get anything done there. Never mind. Okay. Right, so I'm going to make a second War Factory and just put it here. It's not it's it's technically in my first field i'd rather it be in my expansion so i can repair my harvests in my expansion later but i'm so ahead at the moment that it doesn't matter necessarily that much anyway oh ho he knows what's going on here okay let's go for his base Five harvesters for me. And he's most likely going to attack my expansion. So let's go ahead and prepare a response to his likely outcome, which is he attacks my expansion here. You may even be uh, taking Blue Tiberium as well. So let's go ahead and check that one out. These Scorpion tanks, are, Pred tanks, are a bit exposed. Right for the taking. That tank taking some damage. Okay. No Scorps. Uh, what do I do versus Prez? Do I just go Scorps considering how ahead I am currently? I think so. I'm just going to wait here till he sends a Harvester. Alright. Well... Again, he, I don't think he can really push out and kill this Harvester, unless he gets his Pred Tanks over here, but who knows if he'll have the time to do that before I get away. I also have tip spikes on my mind, and I know that I'm going Scorpion Tanks into infantry, so it's very clear to me that he's going to go Hammerheads very soon. That much I can tell you. Absolute certainty. I'm going to get the tib legs with no intention of going for enlightened currently. Maybe one enlightened or so. I mean, he knows I'm going for them every game now. So he's most likely going to expect... Fuck. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I lost a harvester. Okay, I'm going to go stealth tanks, I think. Wow. Kills another harvester. Not too bad, but he's probably going to pay for it pretty hard. You can trust me. I'm going to use these fast leg engineers to do some pretty sick damage. I've got an enlightened god, which I'm going to use also to EMP those. Pred to Tuz. Get rid of those. And oh! Wow. He's really out harvesting hunting today. Okay. Take this. All right, um, it's a bit delayed, this, but I could probably EMP him, uh, you know, it's going to be a rough time this holding this back. All right. Avatar Avatar 
Structured options. Structured Avatar. Scorpion here. Stealth tanks coming in. Uh-huh. He's gonna lose his harvesters. Tier 3 is gonna go down. He's losing his harvesters. Aka, fuck up. Man, these power requirements. Any harvesters here? I don't know, but this is a real pain in the ass. He lost a lot of harvesters. He's got hammerheads. That much I know. Ooh. All right. I see how it's going to be. We need stealth tanks. And we need them now. We've got those Tybrim spikes still, which is cool. I'm going to need Tibcor. He's going to probably try and go out and attack. There's a husk there, which I can take. I do have fast leg engineers. Are they special, the decals? Yeah, it's kind of a mix at the moment, guys. It's the weirdest mix ever. I've got some normal skins and some fucking non-normal skins, so... It's, it's a bit... It, it may look strange to you guys. Husk, please. Well, this is delaying me a lot. Nonetheless, let's see if we can bait these into the Tiberium field. That would be great. If we can go in this if he goes in the time room, that would be amazing. Then we can take him out, guys. Get that upgrade. Particle beams. Ooh. That's not good. For panic. He's in some deep trouble. Definitely, uh, it's a bit of a precarious situation for Panic to be in here. Oh, he's trying to surround me. Um. Oh, he's actually do dodging like, the Tiberium field, which is smart of him. Well, that sucks. A lot. Obviously, I need to try and deal with these husks here, so I'm going to tip vein. Just to get rid of them. I know it's very inefficient, but... It is what it is, guys. Those are free kills, as far as I'm aware. As far as I'm concerned, those are freebies. Uh, a couple of these. AA turret. Let's get that Redeemer in action. Okay. Again, that uh, spike advantage is going to really be a problem. There we go, that's dead. You may notice I'm going for a nuke. This is by design. Did I not take that husk over before? I guess not. Kind of all over the place when it comes to my 
options. I'm amazed he has a, There's an lighting squad guarding the spike, guys. <laughs> of all things, there's a freaking enlightened there. Now, I'm making this nuke so I can go in into his base and rage in and not be afraid of getting EMP'd by him. Uh, group number three for that. Alright. Oh, fuck. Oh, what? Why do they not work? Why is it not working? What? What the f- Was I stuck in planning mode? Since when does that happen? So my game just sticks in planning mode. Okay, right. All right then. Well, I guess that was a waste of time. Wow, that's a veteran job. Come on, kill that. Well, that was surprising. So this game is just, it's not yet done with me yet, guys. It still wants to bug me to death. This insanity of bombing pits. That's, that's what it is. Sell this off. Oh no. Engineer instead. We got a. Hmm. I need some enlightened to EMP that Marv. Otherwise, I'm in some trouble. Yeah, this is what I don't agree with him pushing into uh, what is clearly a trap. No income currently. Well, this will kill the Marv. Yeah, that's really the only use of the Enlightened. Besides, in that Desert Dust Bowl game. Yeah, I got stuck into planning mode. I, I was continuously hitting the key to enable supercomputer measures, but the game uh, I may have misclicked and pressed uh, planning mode, it's strange. Maybe it's the polling rate on my keyboard because I'm getting all sorts of weird glitches, but I never had that before.